So hello guys, we are today with a, a, another entrepreneur, and today we are gonna discuss how the journey started of this entrepreneurship, and their startup name is Bio Dimension. And let's just hop into this interview and let's start. So could you just introduce yourself? Like? Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Rajit. I'm the co-founder and chief innovation officer of Bio Dimension. So uh, I have uh, around six years of experience in the industry and I specifically work as a business development guy and I along with my co-founders we started this biodimension technology. So this biodimension is exploring the dimensions of biology. When I say that you know we are offering and we are developing human tissues in lab. You must have heard of like you know cultivated meat and uh, you know a lot of uh, yeah, vegan applications vegan, yeah. things and all those things. So those are like a you know, part of our technology. What we do is like you know we make tissues and we create organs in blood, uh, which mainly grows as an animal alternative in blood testing and in cosmetic testing. And also it has application in the clinical side where we can transplant uh, the tissues which we make in lab to the patients. So we started with human skin and this human skin has tremendous potential in the testing industry and also in the clinical. So like if a person has a uh, Third degree burn, let's right. say. So, if we want to replace that skin patch, you are the ones who, right. who are going to provide that skin and right. uh, they can just put it over here. Right. So, that is one of the application. Okay. So, okay. Uh, when we say like human skin tissue, when we say like, you know, we make human skin tissue in lab, the tissue which we make is not only, uh, you know, uh, similar in structure with the human tissue, but also the properties. So this human skin tissue has three different applications. As I mentioned, you know, this can go for testing the cosmetics. So you know, uh, there is a patch test, you know, irritation test, a lot of tests are there. Right now, they generally do it on animals. So we are providing our skin tissue as a replacement to animal experience in cosmetic side. And also in pharma application, like you know, uh, if you must have heard of these nicotine patches, hmm. right? It's it's just pasted on the skin. The nicotine get permeated through your skin and it results in the blood skin and it makes what purpose it going to serve, right? So we are providing skin tissue to understand how much blood is passing through the skin. Because skin is a natural body. Yeah. So it has application in the pharma side, in that. And the tertiary application, it is an ultimate application, is a clinical side. As you mentioned, it goes for transplantation, grafting. So if it is a third, the third degree burn, like, you know, either they go for Tilapia fish to taste on the... Yeah, you know, or they just take, or they just take it from yeah. somewhere in your body and they so ours will be like, you know, we take a patient tissues and within 30 and 30 days, you know, we can give uh, the company. Are the properties the of your tissues that you make, mm -hmm. are they similar to, are you achieved that similar type of texture and all those properties exactly. that... Exactly, that's what I mean. It's because it has to be done on a micro level also, it's not just from the outside like right. the texture right. and stuff. Exactly, it's not only the texture, not only the structure, but also the properties. Because our skin has four different layers. In the same way, like whatever the skin tissue we make, it has four different layers. So, what are the proteins that are present in the skin? That is also present there in our tissue. Like every each and every forty properties are getting made. So, how much success have you made? So, we have developed a human skin. So, we are now. Is it having an accuracy of like ninety nine percent, or is it? Uh, we don't determine that in that accuracy level. Okay. So, we determine uh, in the first part of a quality level. Right, and when we say quality, uh, the markers which we put present in the skin, or like the texture, or the layers which I mentioned, like the thickness of the layer, in that we is determined. And our initial focus is not on the clinical side, our initial focus is on the company side. Okay, 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 okay. So, who started all this company? So, uh, we are three co founders. So, I handle the business operations and development, and uh, Mr. Manoj, who is a CEO and uh, he is leading the product development and maybe he's work, he worked with companies for past six years and he's an expertised tissue engineer so he take care of the product development and uh, we have another performer Mr. Pradeep so he's a, a, a you know, industry expert in the regulations and also he handles the finance part of the company so we are three performers and we are contributing in that So what was the inspiration behind this? Like inspiration? How so, did you start this company out right. with this idea came? Because it's not an idea that we usually hear of like making right. a product or something. Right. So how did it all start? Yeah, so uh, the, the co-founders, you know, you know, we studied together. 
So we studied it with them and we studied, no, uh, we always think about starting a tech business, right? It is not something we just make, we discuss over a coffee and then we started. So years passed by, you know, 2015 we all met and, you know, we are classmates and uh, we brainstormed several ideas, not only this, we brainstormed several ideas and then we want to be a tech entrepreneur, right? And then we found, you know, there are lack of skill and ability with us, so we want to equip that by going to the industry, experience ourselves in that. So we went to and we learned a lot of things and then this pandemic time, so we got a chance to, uh, you know, review or whatever expertise we gained in the past five years or six years, right? And then we identified an opportunity in the industry because we were in the industry and we knew what type of works are being carried out in the pharma industry. Then we identified an opportunity like, you know, there is a need of non-animal methods because the world is moving towards non-animal methods. So, being a tissue engineer, Manoj is really this, there is a need for it. And being a business developer, I know like how much business is coming there. And being in the industry, Pradeep knows like, you know, what are the what is the importance of non-animal methods. So during the pandemic time, we brainstormed a lot and we went to people and we discussed about our idea and we validated our idea. And then uh, we quit our job and then we started this organization. Okay. So, so, so a lot of work. A lot of work, you know, we did. Okay. Because, you know, uh, we are not a student. So we have some responsibility, you know. Yeah, I path. think so. You might not be from the biological, uh, right. like you might have not been done MBBS and all those. Right. Types. So right. what's your qualification? So like? we are biotechnologists. So okay. we co we co-founders are you know, biotechnologists, and we all completed M Tech here in IIT. Okay, you completed your M Tech in BIT yeah. and your bachelor's. Bachelor's in uh, uh, you know there's a college in Europe called KS or KS. No, but it's subjective. Biotechnology. Biotechnology. Okay. 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 So, are you just in the development stage or are you market ready? Like, if I want to, consumer wants to buy a product, like if mm -hmm. I had a burn and I just want to buy your mm -hmm. product. So, is your product market ready? Uh, no, it is not market ready. So, okay. we are being validated or uh, uh, tissue model. Like, you know, as I mentioned, like we developed the skin tissue, but to get into the market, we need several validation studies and several quality tests has to be done. So, we are doing it and so far we are successfully completing all the validation part. So soon we will be in the market, the first product. Because a lot of things go a lot of things. like you have to do human trials right. and then you have uh, to In that case we don't need to do human trials, okay. but we have to do a series of experiments which says, you know, as you ask, like what is a, a guarantee that, you know, the skin will work. So for that particular, like we have to do series of experiments, not on animals and not in humans, but in the lab we have to do. Yeah. So like, how many people work in your team? So uh, we are a team of eight right now. So and uh, we have uh, so we are also supported by the you know, um, students. You know, they come and they help us in like as interns. Interns, yes. You know, like you know, they beautifully take care of this business marketing side and other whatever the expertise we are lagging off. Like you know, we take students help and they are helping. Like I might, be, uh, you might be lagging in app development, right? Or right for our website or you know whatever the things that has to be. Especially this digital marketing things, you know, people are very good at the digital marketing mm -hmm. and helping us. And uh, yeah, there are few students working uh, uh, as a team, like uh, and we are eight number team, full time. Okay, so if you have to go for a valuation, like mm -hmm. if you wanted to go to investors and mm -hmm. just uh, uh, tell them that you have this this product and mm -hmm. you want to take investment from them, like what would be that valuation that you put on your company? Uh, I'm not supposed to disclose that right now because uh, that is a one like a valuation thing like you know uh, when you bring, I mean valuation since you're asking about the numbers now. so valuation like we generally uh, don't disclose it and we to say this uh, why because you know uh, the, the investor investor perspective is completely different hmm. right so yeah you look for the experience also right. like if the investor right. is putting right. any uh, mm -hmm. experience or it's just the money right. that it's the strategic uh, investment yeah. people used to say right you know um, so we don't completely look on money right? so you have to look at all the other aspects yeah. so since it is a deep tech company yeah. right there is a chance a lot of chance you know, uh, uh, you know with money you can't able to generate it with money you can't able to do this but with the right people you can go far wherever you want to so generally we look for investors in that perspective right the kind of strategic investment and the valuation part is something you know they put forward something it's a deep tech and it's an early stage company, mm. right? So if I say if I say some valuation, some investors won't. Right? Yeah, because you because haven't done any sales and they right. have not any stats. All those investors right. just see the stats right. and their finance right. guys, 
and you are not from that right. field. And, 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 and most importantly, the valuation doesn't come from sales only. Yeah. It also depends on the intellectual property you have. Right. Like That's why the valuation company doesn't achieve in the next right. 10 to 20 years. Right. They all see that. Right. Okay. So we don't see the valuation game. We are not into the valuation game. We are into the place where we progress with our intellectual property. Okay, so what's your current status like and how mm -hmm. much time will you be able to achieve it to be market ready? Yeah, next year we will be uh, in a position to market our first product, the same scheme. So that's the uh, milestone we are having. So you will be able to sell it to the hospital? Uh, yeah. Hospitals, like you know, uh, pharma industries. Pharma yeah, companies. I think so. It should be uh, like a B two B business. Yes, yeah, like all of the B two B business. Because customers won't be buying your tissues, and yeah. you just give me a tissue. I will put. And that is not also. Yeah, yeah that's even like you know, we can't sell the tissue in a packet. Yeah, a sachet. That is not the way. A way. lot of store and yeah, a lot of things are needed. You have so, to take yeah. care of. Yeah. So, like, what's the final goal of this company? Like, what mm -hmm. it wants to achieve in the next 10 to 20 years? We vision to be an organ manufacturer, right? The right technologies out there. Uh, if you look at the scenario of, like, I always used to compare this technology with artificial intelligence, right? In computer science, like, you know, artificial intelligence was there even in decades before, mm -hmm. right? It got evolved, and now people are seeing its use cases. In the same way, like, you know, organ manufacturing and tissue engineering, was there centuries ago, right? Now it is getting its traction and a lot of research groups across India and across the globe, like you know, people are working towards it to recreate the human organs in that. So soon the technologies will take, take its traction. So we want to move along with the technology and we see ourselves as an organ manufacturer in everything. So how much investment have you put in and how much investment you got from the investors like if you uh, could disclose the number? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm, let's say I'm afraid yeah. I'm like not able to disclose those numbers. But you have put some money off yeah. your own. So and we started this organization, like, you know, we have somewhere around 3 lakhs in our hand, right? And uh, we are all, you know, all our co-founders are the breadwinners of the family. So we don't have very posh background. So I'm, I'm coming personally coming from a you, you, you might be doing freelancing yeah. and all those stuff to uh -huh. get yeah, that money there. there. We, like all those struggles were there, right? When you start a company, like you know, that to a deep tech company, you need to put some money, right? And it doesn't mean like you have to be rich. Mm -hmm. Even a common man can start a yeah. company if he has or she has the perseverance and the effort and the passion towards it, right? In that way, like you know, we trusted our idea. And we trusted our skills and expertise, and we trusted our knowledge. Then we started this. Okay. So, what's the biggest risk for the company? Like big uh, companies, like mm -hmm. pharmaceutical companies, mm -hmm. they are also trying to achieve it. Right. Like uh, in Europe, there's one company who's trying to achieve and make human blood. Mm -hmm. So there are many. There might be many companies that are trying to do this same, and they yeah. have big valuations and all those right. funds coming in right. and have all those resources. Right. So, how are you gonna? Yeah. Uh, I would say like, you know, uh, in deep tech, especially in biotechnology, the threats come, comes along with an opportunity, right? And not all the opportunities are threats and not all the threats are opportunities, right? We have to identify it, right? As you mentioned, like there is a chance like big players, like you know, big pharma companies can invest and can develop the things and those things, right? And what we see in that is like, you know, that is an opportunity, right? Uh, you, you might hear like a lot of drugs in the market. If anyone thinks they can replicate it. But the problem is like the relevant expertise, the intellectual mm -hmm. properties, a yeah. lot of things has to be taken care of. So we think that is an opportunity, right? And we, and I would like to mention like, you know, uh, India in this case, like, you know, uh, completely dependent on European and US countries. Mm -hmm. A lot of researchers are going on in yeah. Europe and US. And in some cases, like, you know, uh, Indian market is uh, import dependent market. In this particular, case. and you have to import all, we have to import all the stuff, right? And we have to do the testing from that imported product. So we see that as an opportunity, right? and we want to create an entry barrier with our intellectual properties. Okay, okay. So what's your current growth like? Are you achieving the milestones that you had set up? And right. so, uh, like you know, uh, I would say like you know, uh, we are progressing steadily. I'm not saying like you know, swiftly. You know, we are st progressing steadily. And we are achieving the milestone uh, a bit early than what we calculated, but we are not satisfied with that. And we are working continuously how to make it so fast and in a steady way. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, what would be that one word that defines you or your company? Okay, for the bi dimension. Yeah. One word. Yeah. Right? 
uh, we are creating the future. That's what I can say. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, what's that one sentence that you'll uh, say to a ten-year-old guy to okay. explain what your company does or your what you do? Say we make your organs in lab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one sentence we can say. Yeah, I think so. That best defines your company. Yeah. And like uh, you have learned many things, like in your entrepreneurial journey. Mm-hmm. Like you just started in 2020, I guess. So and uh, after that, you might have learned many things. You have gained many skills and all those stuff. So what's that one learning that you want to uh, tell all to the young entrepreneurs who want to start up there? Right. So uh, I would say like uh, not one many we have many I have, but. but I want to tell like you know don't take everything as a man right uh, there is a purpose behind it for each and every work you do right money is a thing like you know it supports your growth and it supports that purpose but money is not the purpose if you want to start something if you want to do something ask yourself whether you are starting this for money or for the sake of your satisfaction so that one thing I want to tell to the entrepreneur saying like you know focus on your passion, focus on your purpose. Don't focus on money. That will come into place if you have the right So mm-hmm. that's the point I want to mention. So don't run behind. Don't run behind. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because life has different purpose. Okay. Right? okay. And in this so uh, in this my my entrepreneur, entrepreneurial journey I find out. If you run behind money you can't grow. If you run behind your passion, definitely grow. Okay, so it was a great interview and let's meet you guys in the next video and just subscribe to this channel and